You can actually hit this and it makes sounds. <laughs> oh, he says, mm. uh, uh. <laughs> What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here. Today, we're playing the new Roblox banana game. That's right. It is finally here. The new Roblox banana game called Shovelware Studios Hollywood. It's right here. We are in the game now. If you guys remember, like a couple of weeks back, we made a video saying that the uh, Roblox banana game brain game was just done. They released an update and they were like, game's over. Over. See ya. But then, oh, and I, I guess I just unlocked a morph while I'm standing here. They just released this. So I have no idea what this game is all about. And I think that's going to be the whole point of this video is just discovering all the things we can do, what this even is, and how can I break it? You know, your boy Zach Blake. I'm going to try to break it. So let's have some fun. So to begin, this looks so cool. It's obviously an amusement park, but this is supposed to take place in Hollywood. And I kind of live like an hour away from Hollywood. So this kind of, uh, it looks kind of familiar almost like i think universal studios the amusement park is in hollywood so it's like is that what this is i'm i'm an apple right now hi <laughs> look at my face um what whoa there's so many morphs so i can become all of these whoa what is this there's like vip experience with gold i don't even know what this is whoa what kind of world is this is this like a whole a new universe in there at the top you can become the banana if you have shovelware gold so let's get the day pass well, I'm doing it for you. We're gonna discover it. Whoa. Wait, why is it only 20? Oh, it's only 29? All right, well, let's try it. All right, here we go. Shovelware gold, day pass. So now I could be the banana. <laughs> here we go. So I have no clue what this game is about. It looks like we're just gonna be roaming around doing a bunch of stuff, right? Whoa, this looks so cool. Look at that. Is this a real person? It kind of feels like, yeah, it looks like a real person. So you can go to the restroom here. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. What's this? This is like a little trolley. I want to get on it. Whoa. Oh, I got I got a hat, I think. Oh, am I driving? Hello? Oh, all right. What? So today we are beginning our journey by going on a trolley. I have no idea what's going on, but it feels like a really cool experience. It's all new. It's mysterious. I mean, look at my face. Don't I look happy? <laughs> Whoa. So there's a theater over here. There's different like little zones there's a sound stage you can go to brain game whoa and what's over here hold on i gotta see this it says don't look it's not done yet coming soon i gotta look what whoa, okay wow just empty dirt oh and the door's closed behind me okay we're good we're good so let's go over here this is shovelware studios one man scheme <laughs> i guess this is me i'm just looking at my own stuff here oh whoa Okay, he's just pointing out that we're in Hollywood. It says your face here. Whoa. We're walking through a literal museum in Roblox. Early life and crimes began. The dancing banana was born in a small town in Missouri by the name of Bonnebel. His brother, Roy Banana, was also born a few years earlier. According to those who knew him at the time, the old DB, the old dancing banana, took on the role of the rascally younger brother and was always getting them into trouble. And good old Roy was responsible for the brother who would find a way to get him out of it. Truth be told, this is basically their dynamic. Back in the day, you'd often find the dancing banana spending his days down by the creek jamming to weird owl records <laughs> chatting with his good personal friend and renowned american author mark twain and working in the professional bootlegging business <laughs> that's the brother right there he's like ah, this guy how do i stop him welcome back dancing banana and roy whoa it's like a little history lesson i'm literally walking through there's a, just a museum here whoa it's like ooh, ah look at all these uh museum pieces can i like oh i can wave to things i can dance <gasps> i can do the dancing banana dance whoa i can just clap <laughs> I feel like that's like the best thing. I just look so awkward. <laughs> he walked up. He's like, why are you clapping at the coils part? I'm like, yes, beautiful. <laughs> I love coils. They're amazing. And somebody just walked up, banana. <laughs> oh, so this was the shrunken school lobby, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, so the remake of their very first title and it's like, like, <laughs> plastered over shrunken school obby because i think it was it wasn't called something before oh wow they have the king slime the slime simulator wow oh i can put a coin in what did i get oh i just opened something uh how do i open it what what is this i i have slime do, what? How, what what is this can i open up this one what is this one blue slime or white slime 
Do I put it in the trash? Why, why did I buy it then? We're just opening up slimes for no reason. I'm so confused. It feels so surreal. It feels kind of meta. Talk, this is like we're playing a game about the development of a game and there's a museum about the stuff as assuming it was real life. Whoa, and then there's coming attractions. Whoa. How many times have I said whoa so far? Whoa. Can I have a hot dog? Oh, all right. I just, I got a hot dog. Can I eat it? Oh, nice. I, I could literally eat it one bite at a time. This is amazing. I haven't, I just took a hot dog. Oh, yes. All, all right, I ate that one in one bite. Whoa. I could just keep eating the hot dogs and I'm stealing money? What? So we can attend a live taping of Shovelware's brain game right here or visit an exact replica of the set constructed directly next door as a theme park attraction. Okay, let's go. So yeah, this is just uh, an exact replica apparently. Now, are there any secrets in here that we could find? I remember before we were really trying to get into this room. Please tell me you can open it. Come on. <gasps> what? Oh, no, no, come on, let me in. What? No, they have the little icon too, so they know that you want to. It's all right, I'll just eat my milk buds. And hold on, what else do I have? Generics. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm truly just like a tourist visiting this area. I look so adorable. <laughs> I have like a little hat and I have the balloon. I'm like, this is the best place ever. No, all these doors can't open. So let's see what else we have missed. So we kind of went through the museum. I didn't really read everything. We went through soundstage and then we can go to brain game, shrunken school, obby, super slime simulator or construction site, which I feel like we didn't really discover everything. So it says, uh, Shovel's Wear Studios Hollywood is an ever expanding park, which means that there's always a construction site somewhere on site as we work to build the big new thing. <laughs> we ask that for safety reasons, our guests do not aimlessly wander into the construction site. That is, don't wander into the construction site without picking up some tools and a construction hat. You think these things are gonna build themselves? Get to it. Right at night, it does look a little bit different. It's kind of cool how there's like a daytime and nighttime cycle to this entire thing. All right, so we got some building plans here. Looks like we're building a brand new school maybe. What is this? Oh, I just picked them up. I have them, they are mine now. Oh, and I also have a hammer. Am I supposed to? Oh, I have three hammers. Can I just go walking around? Just breaking things now? All right, hey, how's it going? I'm just gonna, I'm hammering this now. Yep, this is a uh, true construction, right? You know, you, you, you hammer the bags of concrete. <laughs> you can actually hit this and it makes sounds. <laughs> oh, he says, hmm. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? I don't know what to say. Hi. <laughs> Hello. And I'll clap for him. <laughs> that was so cool. Okay, uh, that was not me. I have a hat on. That was... The wanted poster? Uh, that's not, I don't know who that is. Am I gonna get arrested? I feel like the moment I leave the construction site, he's just gonna be waiting. He's like, hey, I think that's you, son. Hands behind your back. Can I run? I'm just gonna, oh, I have the golden boost. Woo, that's so fast. Yeah, how are you gonna catch up to me now? Woo, I can just jump over things. Oh, I almost could. Come on, let's go. Nope. Can I get hit by the trolley? I guess I can, but like not really. I just get pushed by it. Look at me, I'm just like standing in front. So what other morphs do we get? We get a lot, right? Whoa, so I can become uh, the police officer. Do I get anything? How did he have a poster of me? That's really cool. We could be the little nephews. We can be, oh, is this pear? Oh yeah, we got everybody. I guess I could also be myself, which doesn't feel as like cool now. I'm like, hee hee, hi. <laughs> I feel like this banana is definitely the coolest though. Whoa. So I just clicked a button that took me to the gold area. What is this? Oh, this is the wanted poster. Oh, that's so cool. So I could literally just hold it out and be like, hey, you seen this guy? That's me. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool. So we can drink from our little cup here. What is this? Whoa, so each one of these things does something. So I can just write down stuff here. And then what does the microphone do? I could just, I could give it to somebody else. I'm like, hey, how's everybody doing here? And what is the answer to the question? <laughs> it's so subtle, but it's so nice. Whoa, we have hats. Let me get the construction hat. I like this one. So let's leave. And then I think we might have discovered everything so far. There's a lot just hidden around this park. I just got some soda. It's nice. It does feel really relaxing to be able to walk around here. 
So I could just sit at the table here. Whoa, I'm in a little spinny chair. <laughs> Whoa. I'm just relaxing, you know. There's slime here? Oh, what's this? I just got another ticket? Oh, am I printing out tickets? I guess if I kind of try to read it, it is valid for one admit none ticket, it says. So you don't get to go. <laughs> it's just like a non ticket. There's so many little details in this game. It's so cool. Now, I kind of wish there was like more mini games, though. I wish there was like something that you could do or little events or puzzles or maybe even obstacle courses to like get around the map. Because right now it does feel really early. It, it's just kind of showing off other things they have. But I think it's a really good start. Like I can already imagine more games being here. Here, you know something other than brain game and maybe that's what they're building over here whoa you can see all the way out there that is so cool i really want to just like break out of here and start walking around but they really made it non-glitchable like you can't really do anything maybe i can make it to the top of this and it'll make, <gasps> make it difference maybe no i can't make it to the top of there that would be really cool though hold on maybe it's possible no probably not huh but it feels like there's things back there it is, there are things. I'm stuck, I'm literally falling right now. I can't even, I broke the game. I glitched myself into the wall. I mean, I guess I kind of, oh, okay, I got out. Okay, I broke myself into the wall again and now I am sideways. <laughs> but I can make it to the top of the sign here. Whoa, and I got rewarded for it. Look, this is so cool. So we can see the top of everything. It's all just like fake, you know, it's all buildings and then just scaffolding back there. And we can see them building it just like right there. I see them over there. Well, I've been walking around trying to break everything, but I don't think I can. It's all very wrapped up nicely. There's invisible walls everywhere. Today was like a chill day, you know? We got to hang around. I I feel like I kind of broke the game here and there, but it was enjoyable. Hopefully, I made you laugh and smile and just have a great day. And I want to make you have a great day every single day, so hopefully you tune in and hopefully you subscribed. Enjoy the DAC pack as we go towards 3 million subscribers. I thank God every day I'm able to do things like this. Whether it's mods or new games, I just want to make you smile. So hopefully, I can in the next episode. Probably coming up right now. I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out, my dudes.